Hey everybody. Um, today's kind of a day at the office slash garage. Um, I was working on a kitchen remodel estimate. Um, a couple a couple really easy ways to do a kitchen remodel. And remember guys, what I do works well for me. Um, I'm a small guy, just a couple employees. Um, I'm not super, super uh, into all the huge estimating programs. They just seem a little bit bulky. They seem to be pretty cost prohibitive for a small company like me. Uh, we only do about two hundred and fifty to four hundred thousand a year in work, so not a lot for one guy operation um, and uh, a couple employees. So having a thousand or two thousand dollar a year uh, program is pretty is pretty expensive. Um, now I suppose if you want to grow and you want to be a two or three million dollar, ten million dollar company. Um, then getting good at those programs is going to really benefit you, but it's just not for me. I don't want to be that big. Um, it's not my cup of tea. So I start off with lots of notes. Um, I, I just, I just kind of go through it and as a customer and I are talking, we, uh, I write down notes and everything like that. So I've got all the customer's information up here that way. If there's any weirdos out there, um, you don't bug my customer. Um, and then I go through, let me flip this around. Okay, so I take lots of notes, and, and this one was pretty straightforward. My notes on this one was really taking all the measurements of the entire uh, galley kitchen, so it's it's kind of a walkthrough. They have a little sunroom dining area here, breakfast nook, whatever you want to call it. The main dining area is right here. We're not doing any work out here, so I didn't worry about measuring any of that, um, but the layout of the kitchen and the sink and the oven, uh, refrigerator, then I kind of drew in the pantry. We're not doing any work in the pantry, but it kind of helps me get an idea of the shape of the house. Later on, the customer added the utility room, which is right here. Um, I didn't get those numbers for that, but I do remember it. It was only about five feet deep and about 10 feet long. So when we do the floor, it'll be easy for me to, to add that in there. All right, then I just put down that we're doing the floor demo replacement, um, cabinet rebuild. Um, when this house was flipped about five years ago, they updated these cabinets and these, but they left this bank of cabinets right here, um, old and from the 70s. And it, he says that there is something underneath the cabinet that's stinking. So <laughs> we're, not, we're not replacing these for structural purposes, we're replacing them because he thinks there was some mold um, or food or dead animal behind and underneath these cabinets. So yay, fun for us, um, but it's something that he's hiring us to do. We're keeping all the tops, the utility room, um, and then we are also replacing all the base trim uh, when we rip out this flooring all the way down the hallway and through here. The reason we're replacing the trim and not just putting it back is because the guy that flipped this house about 10 years ago just overlaid this floor on top of another layer of floor that was already higher than this floor out here. So we have a huge step up, it's about one inch. So we'll be taking down two layers of floor to come back in and keep the new floor even with the old floor. All of this base trim was then cut and it's gonna be, we're gonna have about a one inch gap. Uh, so it's gonna be removing it and replacing it with full size. All right, so that's the, some of the notes I took off of this. Pretty simple and straightforward, not a very difficult one. So then when I get home, I start building this job. So again, this is a new floor repair cabinets. That's basically the gist of this job. But if you've done remodeling, you know that that doesn't just stop there. We do a ton of site prep. So I have site prep, labor, one full day. So that's gonna be three guys working for about three hours doing site prep. We're gonna have about $400 into floor paper, plastic, masking tape, and um, the uh, floor cardboard. Then we're gonna be doing uh, the cabinet demo, about one day to take out that one cabinet. Demoing base trim and floor. We're gonna have about roughly three man days that's going to be three guys one day doing all that demo. Prep and remove old cabinet. So I have that down twice because this cabinet demo is just that one cabinet. This cabinet is going this cabinet demo is going to be all the drawer faces, all the cabinet doors, all the hardware, getting all of that stuff taken off and set aside where and this is slow process because we don't want to damage any of the cabinet faces 
and we don't want to damage any of the um, the drawer boxes or anything like that. So that's a real slow process. We're going to be fixing the floor rot or whatever is stinking under that cabinet. And I put $500 just for miscellaneous materials that we might need to do that floor demo. Okay, once we've done all this demo, it's time to go to the dump. I put in about half a day, that's four hours for me to drive to the dump and back, and about $200 in gas and dump fees. All right, so now we're going to be, um, we're gonna spend about half a day prepping and measuring for the new cabinet that's gonna be built underneath the existing countertop. Now that's granite countertop. So we have to really take our time and lay out how we're going to build this cabinet underneath the top. So it's not gonna be just sliding a box underneath it. Um, it's gonna be more like sliding a platform than building the sides and that kind of stuff. All right, new lower cabinet. Once we prep, once we get all the measurements and everything like that, I figure it's gonna take two days so about 16 man hours with us two guys one day or one guy two days and eighteen hundred dollars to have all that built cut and 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 stuff like that then we're going to have the new drawer the new door and drawer faces um about two days to install them and about three thousand dollars to have all that stuff built uh, we have it built by a third party a subcontractor it's prep for new floors two day two guys one day so that's two man days and about $500 and just floor prep. So that's gonna be just making sure that everything is ready to go for the new floor. Again, at that point, we're going to the dump again. So another um, half day and about $500 for the dump. We're gonna start laying down the new floor, um, about four man days and about 2,500 of material, uh, new base trim, two guys, uh, one day or two days for one guy, about $1,200. This is a stain grade base, so it's gonna be pretty expensive. Uh, to stain the base, about 120 bucks, one guy. And then this is the big one is these jobs, let me turn this around. Well, there we go. So this is kind of the big one. These jobs, they never go smooth. They, they almost never go like I envision them. Uh, so I have learned just to add a miscellaneous line. They call it a, um, uh, or, or there's a fancy way of describing it, incidentals, um, miscellaneous, uh, the stuff I don't know, whatever you want to call it, uh, you need to make sure that you're taking account for that when you're bidding these, this work. You don't want to be at the very end of the job and have basically ran out of money, but yet you still have two or three days worth of work. That's where guys get into trouble because they're trying to, they're trying to do $500 worth of work for 50 bucks. Uh, they're trying to do 16 hours worth of work in like four hours. We, that's when you start cutting corners. That's when you start saying, well, that's good enough. Um, I've heard a lot of guys say, well, it looks great from my house. Uh, so this is where having that extra money really allows you to, um, to do the right quality that you told the customer you'd do. All right, let's turn this thing back around. So we have 27, 27 man days. Eight hours a day, sixty-five dollars a day, an hour. We're at fourteen thousand four uh, forty dollars, and then all of our material costs come up to eleven thousand eight hundred and twenty. So our grand total of hard cost is twenty-five thousand eight hundred sixty dollars. Add fifteen percent for your profit margin, your you know profit and overhead, and you come up with twenty-nine thousand seven hundred and ninety or thirty-nine dollars. Once you have all the numbers all tied. Uh, written up and figured out, then go ahead and transfer them into whatever professional form um, or format you have. Um, I use just a simple Word doc. Um, I, uh, once, I, uh, once I have all the Word doc down right and looks good, then I transfer it to a PDF, then I email it off to the customer. I always follow up with that email with a quick call or a text message the next day to make sure they got it. So hope that helps guys. Um, just keep it simple. Be honest with yourself and where all your numbers are at and how much you need to make and um, just keep knocking them out. Try to, you're not going to win them all. If you're winning them all, then you're probably doing something wrong. Um, but uh, keep trying to just better yourself one step at a time. All right. Hope that helps. Uh, remember, not always the best way to do it, just how I do it. All right. Have a good one.